Now that you've got Derek activated uh, to start practicing, what's the, as you're watching this week, what's the thought process on, you know, making that next decision? Well, just to see how he responds and ask him to start doing, you know, some of those things that he's going to need to do in the football game. I mean, no different than what we've done with, with any other guy that's, you know, come back uh, from, you know, the injured reserve and, and as they start their return to play. At this point of the season, what's the, how challenging is it with what you're able to do on the practice field, pad limitations and things like that, as opposed to game reps? Uh, what, is that, how, how challenging is that balance for a player? I think would say depending on the position, I think that that um, certainly is something that um, you'd have to look at. Uh, maybe the the position of that the player plays, whether it's at the line of scrimmage, um, you know, receiver, and so we'd have to just monitor those things and try to recreate uh, what they're going to be asked to do um, in the game as closely as we possibly can. How excited, Mike? Do you think <clears throat> he is to kind of be at this part of the process, and how much of the? I don't know. I'm not going to speak for his excitement. I'm excited. I can speak on my excitement to to coach this football team, to have a chance to to go on the road and. Um, and do everything we can to try to win. That, that, that's what I'll speak on. Can you comfortably recreate things for him here as opposed to maybe getting him touches in this game if you decide to go that way? Um, I, you know, I'm not sure what comfortably means, but I think that uh, you know, we'll try to do everything we can you know, for the players that are coming back to, to try to recreate, uh, to give them, again, the confidence and trust that they can you know, go out there and do their job. We, we try to do that. Um, you know, with every player that's returning. When you're weighing all of this out as far as his return is concerned, how much does the playing surface come into play, whereas, you know, like field turf versus natural grass? I think there's a lot of factors that go into, uh, you know, decisions that we make. Anything on the Texans? How much different are the Texans now from compared to when you saw them? Well, there's a few players that have changed. Obviously, the quarterback's changed. Um, you know, Burkhead, Rex has been getting the bulk of the carries. You know, rely heavily on the skill set of Cooks. Defense is fast, and uh, they create a lot of turnover. So, you know, as we know firsthand. You mentioned Cooks and his skill set. What is it about it? Because it seems like whoever, regardless of who his quarterback is, Doesn't he's matter. a thousand yard receiver. Yeah, he's, um, you know, he just has the ability to, you know, I guess the skill set and, and, and the player always wins out, no matter who's throwing to him or what team, you know, what helmet he's wearing. Uh, you know, plays. Uh, you know, he doesn't isn't a big big player, but he's got speed and I think he's got really good play strength. He does a great job of creating penalties down the field uh, or, or catching those um, or those deep passes. So, you know, it'll be critical um, that that we try to do everything we can to defend him. Was wondering if you had any response to the charge against Bud and what that could mean uh, for him moving forward. Um, you know, obviously we're all aware of it. We'll continue to monitor it, and um, you know, like always, we we try to do everything we can to to help our guys make great decisions on and off the field. And um, you know, that that's my response. We'll continue to uh, monitor it, communicate with with Bud, and um, you know, see how everything um, will eventually play out. Think of a difference uh, from the last game. You now have Zach Cunningham on your side of the defense rather than on the other side of the field. How, uh, with his growth and, and grasp of the defense so quickly, how much of a difference can that make in this game? Well, I don't. I don't think that defensively. Um, you know, we, we 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 just turned the ball over the last game. You know, Zach's going to try to do everything he can to help us, whether that be left tackle on the punt team playing uh, special teams or, or playing defense for us. You know, this is about, um, you know, where we are in, in our 17th game and about the things that we're trying to improve on and, and continue to, to to make our charge to play our best football uh, down the stretch. How much has Dan been kind of the glue that's held the offensive line together this year through a whole lot of... Well, I don't, I mean, I think that since the time that Ben's, you know, come into the league, I think that's always been something that he's, you know, whether that was in Houston when I was around him or, or here, um, you know, Ben loves football. Ben loves, you know, his teammates. He, he does whatever, you know, he can do to help the team. And, and, and a large part of that is, is making sure that everybody up there is on, on the same page, um, you know, trying to execute whatever scheme that we're, we're trying to do. You mentioned the challenge of, uh, you know, 
we asked you about the challenge of dealing with Derek's dis decision. Going in with a chance to get the one seed to buy, uh, what, what factors do you think of? You know, Chiefs play the night before or the day before. You'll kind of know what your status is when you kick off on Sunday. Uh, do you think about trying to rest players or with a chance at a bye, play starters longer? Uh, yeah. There's an awful lot of math. Uh, I think that winning takes care of everything. That's that's the one thing that I've learned uh, since uh, you know I've been in sports or athletics is that winning usually takes care of everything. Do you have a unique or special message this week, different from from other weeks? Winning takes care of everything. You mentioned the, the turnovers in the last game. This is something you've said the team emphasizes every week. Is at this point, do you even need to say anything more about that? I probably don't, but I do. Um, just to to show them the difference, the way that you know when you possess the football, you know that you can turn drives into points. And uh, you know, if we're, we're not able to score touchdowns, we can you know rely on Randy um, t to give us some points. And uh, you know, when you when you force turnovers defensively, it creates short fields for the offense. And and, and we're doing those in, in both of those phases. We did that in the special teams, created field position. I thought we did a great job of that the other day as well, which we'll, we'll need to continue. Um, I, n I noticed you always kind of go out on the field and, you know, tend to them a little bit. Just kind of wondering, you know, sort of what, what do you hope to deliver? What kind of message do you hope to deliver to a guy that's hurt out there? And, and has that always been the case that you've, that you've done that? I mean, we just, we, we spend a lot of time uh, with these guys. I think that, um, you know, like I tell the team, you know, when I when I first got the opportunity to, to do this and um, be a coach or a head coach, you know, you want to try to make, you know, make it as close to a family atmosphere as you can, um, which, you know, there's always issues within families. There's arguments, there's disagreements. Everybody's different. We respect everybody's own personality, but I think in the end, you, you try to come together for a common goal. And so we do spend a lot of time with these guys and you never like to see anybody injured, you know, so I think that's part of my job is to go out there and make sure that, um, you know, guys know that, that we, we care about them other than just, um, you know, a pair of shoulder pads and a helmet. What's your expectation for Ryan Izzo coming in to the tight end room at this late juncture? The expectation is to do everything he can to be ready to play in a football game, and when he blocks, finish longer than the guy with the ball, and when we throw it to him, you know, catch it. On the back, and now there's obviously a lot of depth at that position. What's the competition like? What's the challenge in trying to find a role for all those guys? Yeah, I think that there's uh, going to be a lot of decisions that that we'll have to make, and uh, that's a good thing. You know, there were there were weeks where we um, had had ruled seven players out, and, and we were bringing guys from the practice squad to get healthy 48 guys um, to the roster. So, you know, that that's not a you know something that should come as a surprise to to anybody. Uh, we, we talked about that this morning, you know, in the squad meeting and, you know, their preparation, um, how they practice and, and really the roles that they can, they can play for us on Sunday uh, go into making those decisions. What's your assessment on how, At every position, Jim. What's your assessment on how, uh, you know, Jenkins has kind of turned things around. It seemed like, you know, he's stacked some, some pretty good games. How would you, you know, assess his play, like what he's put on film recently? Well, I mean, Rabbit, you know, he was one of those performers. You know, he got it. You know, we recognized him with the, with the game ball, and it has been really good to see him um, challenge and, and, and be productive. And, and obviously, we touched on the, the interception a couple weeks ago. I felt he was, you know, very good technically the other day. I thought he tackled well when we asked him to tackle. So um, a lot more of that would be, be great this week.